told you they wouldn't get it. Now, now, your aura is a spiritual, luminous energy that comes from your being. For example, Goo, your aura is a vibrant yellow. You are full of hope and creativity, even if often from a, a confusing source. But nonetheless, you are a source of positivity. Now that's a win for the Cheer, cheer factory. factory! Yes! But your aura also shares your faults, for you are cautious goo, frail, nervous, and fearful of unknown troubles. <laughs> I didn't know if I should trust this aura idea, but <laughs> How is it accurate? Plus, it's juicy and color-coded. I can't resist that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Now do me! Do me! Hey, guys. <laughs> wow. That was the worst noise I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been getting along so well lately. This ends now. Hey, 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 what is this? I do not approve of small businesses growing on my otherwise free land. What did he call me? Relax, me phone. Candle's just doing some very informative aura readings. He wouldn't get it. It's actually quite amusing if you <laughs> like a laugh. You look like you need one. Hm? Of course. Hmm? The answer's been right in front of me all along. It's time you teams disarrange. Ah. One, two, three, go! Gather round, because it's time your long-lasting friendship says so long. Using this list provided by Cabby, I'll use your strengths and weaknesses, specifically the latter, to form two new teams. <gasps> <laughs> what? What? I like my team, even if it's just two people. Well, then it's time the sinkers sunk for good. Bye forever. No! Casa de Globo! Um, I thought we agreed on Nicoltopolis. <laughs> My lovely viewers, I have the absolute pleasure to introduce you to... The New Pinkers! Dude, this is awful! Tall one, I'm feeling sad. Be a dear and cry for me. Ah, oh, of course! I'm still stuck with... Oh, hey, Tester. Oh, hi! And now, introducing The New Thinkers! <laughs> oh, this is fun! More shorties! <laughs> Sorry, I guess the cheer factory has become the cheer LLC. Dude, how is this better? I hate this team. I know, Nickel. That's why it's better. <sighs> Man, really? Oh, okay, great, cool, awesome! Wow, hi! Nice to see you too! <laughs> it was all Cabby's idea, everyone. Judge her accordingly. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that was tough work. I'm feeling hungry. I'm really in the mood for... Pizza! Cupcakes! Beignets! Cookies, obviously! Coconut caramel crisps! A healthy salad! Water! Dr. Fizz! Uh, mile high pie? <laughs> Clover, you nailed it. I do want a mile high pie. And that's today's challenge. Make me a mile high pie. Utilizing the picnics tables, both teams will generate their ingredients and stack a pie out of ice cream that is exactly a mile high. The look must be exquisite, the height accurate, and the flavor decadent. Uh, hey, down here. Yeah, uh, why not just make a mile high pie using the picnics tables? Because the picnics table can only generate a half mile high pie. It doesn't even come close. Hmm, well maybe I can, uh, get close to that table. See what I can do over there. Oh yeah? Don't think so. Remember, Nickel, you're... Banned for a life. And don't let me down on this one, because I've earned a full mile-high pie. Go! Hello, nerds! 
Thinkers has the cheer LLC of our handsome new team. I'd like to propose we start with a group. Hooray! What a positively yellow idea. Hooray. No, no, no. Together. Everyone ready? Hooray! You know, it's incredible. I don't like a single one of them. Oh, bro, it seems like little old Nickel didn't receive the company newsletter. Let's do one more cheer! <gasps> nope, send me a postcard. I've got better things to do. Bye! Oh. Now that the hoorays have been hurrahed, perhaps it'd be best to start the challenge. Keep stacking that sticky stuff. Your royal advisor commands you for... <laughs> ah, yes, Balloon, you're in charge of the crust. That goes to the bottom. <laughs> Off you go, little sinker. Happy to help. First, Mephone pulled that stunt and passed me the blame. Then I lost most of my teammates. But at least Test Tube is with me. She's a valuable mind and... Hey, I just want to make things right with her. Hey, Test Tube, do you think you can help me? You need my help? You are a brilliant mind, Test Tube, and I'm sorry I discredited your intelligence. We've both had some bad history, but I'd like to rewrite our history, one where the two of us combine our skills. Huh, wow. I, um... I know, I know, but look, I like you, and if we can work it out, we can make it far together. I promise, for the sake of the game, Smart Alliance? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We've both been pretty... petty. But I think we can make this work. Oh, ew! There is ice cream in my bristles! Keep it up, tall one. You're finally coming in handy. What's mine is yours. Watch this. Tell me, Tezdu, between silver and painty, who is the taller one? Uh, says here it's silver. But of course. Thank you, smart ones. No bad hairdo needed here. What? Hush now, lesser tall one. So, silver, now that we've established you're the tallest, wouldn't it make the most sense for you to be stacking the ice cream? <laughs> No, that's absurd. Back on the thinkers, it really seemed like Silver was getting better. But now, ugh, it's just a royal pain in my... As you can see, I'm the royal advisor, Cabby. Be gone, you chariot of knowledge. Shoo. <laughs> okay, Silver. What was that about? A simple head game. Silver's lazy and careless, and if we accentuate his weakness, the team will have an easy choice to pick off, or he'll double down and mess things up himself. It's all about playing with the information, Test Tube. You'll learn that eventually. So listen, I'm the pink one, got it? Look, I'm more of a salmon, okay? Fish. Bo, there you are. I need you to build us a second ladder using your chairs. We could get silver up there and double our productivity. Uh... Oh, fine. But make them royal chairs. I can't be seen sitting on peasant chairs. Ow! Ow! Hey, Gabby! Uh, why don't you run things over here while I take, um, Bo to get some more ice cream? I could gather some intel? Capital idea! This one's been a real head-scratcher. Literally. Do let me in on what you find. Come on, you stupid hunk of whatever you're made of. Mile high pie! <clears throat> well, that's all I've got. <sighs> you just cool off. She's been having a bad day. Welcome to my life. First my alliance, then my team, and now this Meshuggah table is broken. I thought you were banned. Well, maybe I could help you out of this pickle. Hey, I'm sorry about that whole box tragedy. I can't fix what happened. There's only so many problems that can be solved with simple equations, but there's so many more that have impossible, unspeakable solutions. But I want to solve them anyway. Well, hey, hack this table and I'll consider it even. So, um, you liking your new team? Ha! No. As far as I'm concerned, they're my enemies, <laughs> at best. But you know what they say about keeping your enemies close. They'll eventually start to change you. Well, that should do it. The ban is lifted. Oh, uh, while I'm at it, strawberry ice cream. OMG, the best kind. Thanks. And hey, do me another favor, will ya? Just, would you look after Balloon? Sure, but I, I thought you two hated each other. Well, not anymore.
All right, here we go. Mile high pie! Um, guys, this pie is way too high. Wondrous coordination, Yin Yang. Remember, chocolate, then vanilla, then chocolate, then vanilla, then chocolate, then vanilla, then chocolate. The candle! Then we then haven't made a mile high pie. Then We've made a two mile high pie. Like listening to a road accident. Oh, now that's a good analogy. <laughs> Don't worry, team. <laughs> <clears throat> Balloon, I've been royally advised to check on the status of the cr- uh, What? I know, I know the recipe said flour, but I thought, oh, maybe one was too few, so I got flowers. Goodness! It seems someone here has been dreadfully incompetent. I just hope it wasn't me. Hey! Everything alright? Hmm? Oh, Balloon has a history of being accident prone, especially in flower related situations, but he's consistently immune from elimination. We shouldn't waste our votes on him, even if he made the world come crashing down! Do Cabby and I agree on everything? Of course not. Not even Fan and I agreed on everything. But I wish there was just one thing. Then maybe it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> problem solved. You ate too much! Now we only have a half mile high pie! What do we do? I say we put two and two together. Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> Did you really mean to save me? Or did my curse compel you? I'm not sure you have free will in this situation, Goo. You just think you do. She's right. Okay, cool, you're welcome, I guess! My, from up here, Paintbrush, your messy work looks only half as bad. I think it looks pretty good. That's what I said. I hereby decree your disgusting tower of goop royally edible. Time to add the marshmallow <laughs> topping. Bob, you can use this since you're a uh, all sticky. Hey, hey, oh, 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 hello. Crazy what I'm doing right now, eh? You're probably wondering how. <laughs> I can only assume that the sound of illegal explosions and legalized laughter means that your pies are ready. Judgment time! First up, new pinkers. While I appreciate you providing me with a large eating utensil, this pie is sadly not a mile high, and your crust is made of, ah, uh, flowers? Next, new thinkers. Looking nice, but wait a sec. Is this just two half mile high pies stacked on top of each other? No. Okay, I trust you, Nickel. Always so honest. Thinkers, you win. Pinkers, you're up for elimination. Jeez, I really lost it again. I might be in for it tonight. But hey, it was worth it to see <laughs> Silver get his face stuck in the pie! <laughs> I have no royal comments at this time. All right, we should aim for Silver. Paintbrush messed us up pretty bad, but I know you two are close. It says so in your file. <laughs> no need to thank me. So Silver's the obvious pick then. Let's do it. Figures. Won't miss him. Okay, let's do this together. I'll go press the button. I need you to use this information and convince the others. Can I trust you to do that? For sure. Um, but wait, what about your files? You can hold on to them. You've proven to have some great insight of your own and I value that a lot, Test Tube. Before we get into this exciting elimination, is there anything anyone would like to say? <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up, you guys. I... Yeah, yeah, Balloon. You got immunity again. <laughs> Hooray, your mistakes don't matter. But how will everyone else's? Let's find out. First vote, Cabby. Silver Spoon. One vote, Cabby. One vote, Silver. Cabby. Two votes, Cabby. Cabby. That's three votes, Cabby, one vote, Silver. And the 
seventh contestant voted out is... If I didn't solve the problem, then who would? Abby. You did this. Look, b before you- We could have gone so far. Why? Why? We know what you've been writing, Cabby, about all of our flaws just so you could take us down. I do not obsess over my hair. <gasps> and you, like, said I was dead. But you got the pink part right, so... Eh. And I'm not pink! I'm seven! You say I never lift a finger? Well, I have quite the finger for you, dear. You've got it all wrong, Test Tube! I... I liked you. I... I can't believe you did this. Because you expect everyone to act exactly how you write them to be. You never know what someone will do under pressure. Sure, right now I'm a convenient ally, but tomorrow I might not be so convenient, and I'll be next, right? That's what you did to Fan, that's what you do to them, to me. That was not my intention. It's to keep history, your history, alive. Well, now, your history. Not yet. I need more answers. Your answers! How are you alive? Why are you here? What are you? Hate to break this magical moment, but oopsies, look at the time. Bye bye, Cabby. Wow, that was an intense elimination for an even more intense player. Surely nothing could ever top this, or could it? Find out next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Goo, are you in a comfortable headspace to receive some unsettling information? Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. Today's been a great day for my headspace! When I attempted to read your friend's aura, I faced a complication. Something was wrong. What do you mean? Goo, she has no aura. another inanimate insanity episode thanks so much for watching by the way you've got three teams you can vote for you've got two teams you can vote for you can vote for one character on the thinkers and one character on the pinkers it is so important that you vote for one on each team voting is at inanimateinsanity.com slash votes it doesn't really seem like it's a mile high thank you guys so much for watching again and oh no don't close it